Hi guys and welcome to Bates and 87 Pairs, the channel dedicated to Pro Evolution Soccer 2015, my club content. Today we are continuing our progress in Division 5. It went on and up and that was because the final game of the uh, episode yesterday, we did win 6-0 as you can see there. We have only two episodes, this episode and tomorrow's episode, away from Team of the Year agent opening uh, week 3, which hopefully um, we can try and get some Team of the Year players, finally. We still haven't got a Team of the Year player apart from David, um, Tiago Silva, sorry, Tiago Silva, who we did actually get in our start redeem coupon at the start of the game. He's been in the team since, and as you can see, 92 team spirit is on the team. Um, Martinez and Nasri are the only really two letting me down now with the team spirit, I think, just looking at the uh, area of the shading of the red. Same with the left back. Um, Alves, I reckon, straight on full, as you can tell how red he is. Um, but the team's good, and hopefully we can try and progress today and try and get some wins. If we can try and hit over 200. 50 likes guys that'd be brilliant subscribe to this channel if you're not already pushing on to 16,000 subs which is absolutely insane i don't know what i thought when i made this channel I honestly don't know. I made the channel uh, for a bit of fun, uh, for me to upload Pez content, obviously, and I honestly thought that a lot of people wouldn't like it, but it seems in the comments that you guys seem to love it. Enjoy watching the gameplay, even though you probably don't even own the game, but if you've got a spare 30 quid, guys, I'm pretty sure you can find the game um, have a bit of fun on it as well, even though we got absolutely taught to bits with this guy's dribbling. Just watch the way he dribbles. After this game, I actually learned how to do it myself. Um... I don't think we implemented that uh, as good, but if you look at the way he dribbles and everything, it was ridiculous, and uh, it caused me to make some huge mistakes going 2-0 down. At this point, I was frustrated, and I gifted him the ball there, and a nice finesse shot into the top corner did make it 3-0. But... There's something else coming up um, against these type of opponents, like the really good ones. They have triple A um, assistance. I have pass assistance set to A. That is because I'm a noob and need all the assistance I can get to try and score some goals. But he he's on A, A, A. And when you come up against an opponent like that, you know he is experienced on Pro Evolution Soccer. And I can tell by the result and the way he was playing, pressuring me, um, he did score some amazing goals. Let's look at that finesse shot from, uh, I think it was Lionel Messi actually had. But we did get a little bit of luck in the second half where the ball actually started going for us. But it felt like he was on Ultra D, and it was frustrating me trying to get through the gaps. The only way I can do that is with uh, fast passing. I'm hoping he makes mistakes like he does there. We're able to send with a fake shot, run straight on through, and Benzema making it 4 yeah, four two, four two, which wasn't that bad really, considering we are in Division Five. We are up against some very, very difficult opponents, and uh, unfortunately losing the first game 4-2, which is a shame, but... There is plenty of time to go in this division, as you've seen in previous episodes. So if you've got any questions about Pro Evolution Soccer, I am not the best person to ask. I am not experienced on the game. Even though this series, we're pushing on towards 60... Um, I can't remember what episode this one is. But we are pushing towards the 60th episode of my club, which is a, a long run. We haven't really made that much progress. I was thinking I'd probably be done with 30 episodes, but we're still nowhere near getting into Division 1, which is ridiculous. So our next opponent, and this is when we had to start getting on a win streak, was quite good. But he was making some big mistakes, uh, pulling players out of position. And obviously letting me run in with Benzema there in the 90th minute to make it 1-0. Benzema himself is a good striker. But it feels like he needs a partner. And the only way to get a partner, guys, is to obviously open agent packs. Now, I'm saving up the free agents. If you do know about the uh, about my club, a lot of people might not have. They may have joined the channel later. I used to, at the end of the game, I used to add people to the, um, I used to add people to the team all the time. Uh, mix up the contracts and stuff. But I've been saving them. So after every game we play, we get a free agent. And then you can merge three of them together. And you can try and get some players. So what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to save it to around 100 free agents, open them, and hopefully try and get some nice players um, into the team with trying to do it. And it will be an episode dedicated to itself. We're, in, we're like 30, 30 to 40 uh, free agents away, so it could be a long time away. But it'd be interesting to see if we manage to get any good players by picking the correct agents together. So a nice 3-0 victory there, um, getting us back on the horse of trying to get into Division 4. Maybe even just remain in Division 5. I'm not really bothered, but I don't mind being in Division 5 as we are coming up against mixed opponents. Some very good, 
some very bad, some with decent team spirit, and some with bad team spirit. As you can see there, he has got 77, but he does have Cristiano Ronaldo in the striker position. Someone who I would not mind getting. He did make um, some changes there, actually. He brought on Ibrahimovic and, and pulled it to 80, which I didn't even realise till doing this video and uh, playing in the game, uh, because at the start, he did not have Ibrahimovic. But... We get off to a nice start of the game, pressing quite hard against him as well, um, making some important tackles, and uh, obviously Melo was the person in the middle of all the pack and breaking up his play. He is becoming a ridiculous player for me, easily the best player I've used on my club by a mile, and... Um, even though we start the play usually quite far up the field, he seems to be at the beginning of it and making the first pass, as you can see there. And if it's not the first pass, it's an interception or a tackle by him. And uh, Marquisio and Martinez, them two, added into midfield now. Even though they're not the fastest, they are pretty good for me and doing all right. As you can see, Melo getting involved then. Through ball to Benzema, and um, somehow we managed to finish this one, putting it in the back of the net, making it 2-0. No idea how that happened and come around, but a bad error by... Um, by me lets him in and uh, continued to uh, push the ball as you can see I don't know how we got away with this the ball bounced into Buffon's hand and uh, then on the fast counter attack where you can see all his players are forward we're able to break through with Marquisio who's on the low um on the, the low, what do you call it, low stamina, and uh, somehow Benzema picks up the ball and makes it 3-0 again. So we are stomping people at the moment, well, for the last two games anyway. And yet again, look who's involved there. Melo getting involved, obviously not doing the best, but we do unluckily pass it straight to Mendes, who taps it into the back of the net, making it 3-1. Thankfully, we weren't going to let him come back into the game anymore. And I was thankful to see the referee blow the final whistle and get six points out of nine in this episode, pushing towards Division 4 and hopefully staying in Division 5, avoiding relegation. But we are being dominant now. Maybe the agents which we do get on... Um, the agents we do get on Saturday and Sunday can help us partner Benzema because that's something I need for the nice one twos because everyone who beats me uh, convincingly seems to have a nice partnership up front and that's something we don't have. So guys, new to the channel, subscribe. If you could drop a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. Support the channel and uh, try and hit over 250 likes and we will be back tomorrow for the final, um, final episode of Divisions before the Team of the Year Agent Week 3 opening which comes on Saturday and Sunday. So bye-bye.